Okay, this is a crash course in mastering Bézier curves. I have this picture of French curves here, and I've already done one, and I'm just going to turn it off so you can see the original, and turn it on to see how it's covered, and turn on the points so I can explain them. The points I chose are everywhere where there's a vertical tangent, or a horizontal tangent and basically that's all there is to it. You get the best lines with the fewest number of points. You get the new fewest number of points by sticking with the points that are going to be within that maximum vertical or minimum horizontal tangent. And so to prove that, let's go ahead and do another one of these curves. So I just start here vertical tangent horizontal vertical horizontal vertical horizontal this could be an issue here because it's got kind of a pointy bend but we'll see horizontal. Okay, this curves all the way around. The next one would be this vertical. This horizontal. Vertical. Another vertical. Horizontal. Also, this wood isn't actually cut all that smooth. Right after this vertical, it's going to be another vertical here. This might require an added point there, but like I said, we'll see. These can surprise you sometimes. All right, I'll select a single point, select all, right click on one, and go to smooth. And then Command Shift A to uh, deselect all the points. Watch out for multiple selections, they'll kill you. I'm going to turn down the opacity a little bit here so I can see edges and change the color since I already have a white background. Start with this point here, hold down the shift key. Holding down the shift key will snap this to constraints uh, 0, 45 degrees and 90 degrees. Just need to show you that this is the way the type masters do it. And that's how Bezier curves are done, or at least the best way. Hope you found this useful, and I'll catch you on the next one.